of cherry and cranberry cobbler. I'm starting with the crust. I've already added one and a half cups of flour, so now I just want to do another quarter cup because we're going to mix flour and a little bit of polenta. You could also use cornmeal. It adds a nice texture and I think it's gonna be really good with the cranberries and the cherries. So a half a cup of polenta flour, and to sweeten this baby up a little bit, half a cup of powdered sugar. And make sure that when you measure the powdered sugar you really like, press it down. Half a cup of that. And then we need to season it a little bit. A little spice, some cinnamon for the holidays. Nice and colorful. It's not a sweet cobbler. It's a little bit more of a tart cobbler, so I like a little bit of cinnamon to give it a little bit of depth and then a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and then a half a teaspoon of salt, just to balance out the sweetness. Then we're gonna do two sticks of melted unsalted butter. And we're gonna mix it all together. So it's a very easy crust. The polenta flour gives a little bit of a crunch to it. I think that's the whole thing about these kind of crusts. You want a little texture, especially when you're dealing with stone fruit like cherries. You need a little bit more to hold up to it. And now we're just gonna add some of the dough to the bottom of our nine inch springform pan and then hold on to a little bit of the topping. Take a glass and push down all of the crust. And then you wanna work it up the sides just a little. Create little borders. We're gonna bake it at 350 for about 12 to 15 minutes. Time to make the filling. So I have 10 ounces of frozen and thawed out cherries, and the same thing for the cranberries. We're gonna add 2 thirds of a cup of brown sugar, sweeten them, but give them sort of a molasses flavor, and then a couple tablespoons of flour, just to kind of absorb any of the extra liquid so it doesn't get watery and it doesn't wet down the crust and a little bit of salt. We're gonna grate an orange as well, and it works really well with the cranberries and the cherries. And this makes the whole house smell so good. And we're gonna mix this all together. And you could kinda use whatever frozen fruit you like, but for the holidays, I love the cranberries and the cherries. So now, let's bring it over here, let's fill the pie, and you want to make sure and cool the crust a little bit before you add all of this into it. I'm going to use this and just level this out. Make sure all of the fruit is in there. Then we take the leftover dough and we can just crumble it right over the top. This is my favorite part, is the topping. The little crumbles, they are the best. When it bakes, the cranberries they glisten, they look like little jewels. This is gonna go back into the oven at 350 for 45 minutes and this is golden brown and all of the berries pop and get juicy.